Story plays out between S2H or Slither 200 and Tropical. Of course, Slither 200 ranked number 20 in the SoCal PR. Last season, of course, this season has started a new S2H still playing the gatekeeper as he was in Smash 4. He's kind of one of those hidden bosses. That if you, if you, if you actually, he's actually not even a hidden boss, man. He's just a boss in general. Like you, you'd go to a local and you'd, you'd see the name S2H. You immediately knew who he was, man. Mm -hmm. he's, he's the shark of SoCal. Yeah, it's always the guy that you want that um, out of staters do fear. Yeah, he, I, I, man, that's the, that's the player that Sankal fears. Real talk. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, poor Sankal. Sankal, Sankal, Coast. And sometimes I remember going to random Arizona tournaments, random Las Vegas tournaments, and seeing this guy still there. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> you actually think you might win a local, man. And SOA just shows up. Yeah. Like, all right, man. Now I actually have to put in work. But SOH never afraid to put in work, especially against Tropical. Mm. Trying to playing pretty patient on the ground, just playing the ground game, knowing that Tropical might be looking for an aerial, especially. Mm -hmm. Usually, a lot of DK mains like to go for an aerial, a back air, or a possible forward air. Gets the armor there. Got and him with the clap the and shooting him way off stage. Now let's see how um, S2H is going to deal with him off stage, and he has all the tools necessary. Yep. And actually. Missing out on that tech for trop from Tropical. It's so hard to actually tech the Troll Rush, too. And that's why kind of SOH kind of kept like, okay, I'm not going to go low. But if you want to go for a downer, that's cute, man. I'll go for Drill Rush out of the horizontal plane, and you'll miss a tech for it. Mm -hmm. And Tropical utilizing all of his projectiles, but he needs to find a way in if he wants to take out the stock from S2H. And it's it's kind of thing that about, like, K roll, right? The metagame seems to be really centered around Ooh, Crown. Oh, great for it. So. And Blunderbuss, but when SOH just has all those jumps from Meta Knight, you can just able to move around it, so you have to change your game plan. Crown and Blunderbuss isn't going to be as great as you wanted to, and mm -hmm. he's able to immediately hit him before he gets that, that directional hit from the Blunderbuss. Yeah, that down throw actually gave K roll back his crown, so we'll see how tr Tropical will be able to deal, <laughs> um, be able to utilize it. He is oh, off stage, and S two H loves it when you're when his opponent's off stage. I, I mean, love that down smash, trying to cover neutral getup though. Yeah, and, and, and I'm telling you, man, your game plan actually has to change. Your, the way you play this this matchup very different than you would play per se a little Mac matchup, right? Mm -hmm. Meta Knight's just able to move around your projectiles. He's able to move around your up smash, your down smash. So he he has the coverage. Oh, Back great yeah. up B. And then he snapped ledge so he could follow it up with the bear. And that is textbook Meta Knight uh, match guarding coming in from uh, S2H. Oh, S2H getting him with the dash grab. And here's comes the, here comes the damage. Oh, God, he got the landing too. Yeah. It's not even a lot of damage, right? Like 39%. It's pretty solid. I mean, man, if it would have been 60. Uh, well, oh, he now, now he's at 60, right? Like, it would have been different. <laughs> <for> <laughs> if he was at 60. He's at 60. No, oh, he air dodged off stage. If he was alive, he yeah. would have. <laughs> 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 that's, that's the thing now. Man. Like, hey, man, if you were alive, you would have gotten more damage. But S2H, nonetheless, plays the matchup pretty keen. But like I said, right, like, the metagame for K roll, toss your fireball options. Mm -hmm. When you got a character that actually has, like, six jumps, it's just able to go over you right there, cross you up. You spend so much time in that setup that you're getting crossed up and you need to start looking for per se a different metagame in this matchup. The matchup for for this for K roll and Midnight doesn't doesn't seem to involve K roll using Crown and Blunderbuss and yet again man But that's kind of the issue, right? Like um you're negating a lot of area on the floor because eventually S two H needs to land. Yeah he, he does. he's got six jumps and after that six jump he has to hit the floor. Yeah. And that's kind of what Tropical's looking for. He's trying to, he's when waiting for him to hit the floor, and then he's trying to capitalize on it. Yeah, and every time S2H. Oh, no, he's dead. Yeah, yeah, you're gone. You're gone. Oh, man. I, I, I mentioned it earlier, man. You you set up, you, you take that time to set up Crown and Blunderbuss. The end lag, right? Man, you mentioned he has to touch the floor, man, but S2H. Oh, no. Not even oh, touching no. the floor. Let this man play, and let this man not only hold the controller back air. Oh, no, he has to go low. He, he waits for it to... Oh, he messed up. He did not want to snap ledge. Yeah, he, he wanted did. to go for another bear. But that was a little bit unfortunate for S2H. No, not a uh, heavy punish coming in from Tropical, but now he's throwing out as many projectiles as possible. You, and men you mentioned touching the floor, right? But for mm -hmm. S2H with Battlefield, he has the platform, so he can still avoid the actual... Oh, great down smash. Catching him on <laughs> that. Oh, but um, Tropical... The reason why King K. Roll likes Battlefield is because when he's on those platforms, great down smash, by the way, um, he could 
when he's doing out that blender bus, he can still drop through those platforms. Oh, yeah. And that's such a crazy mix-up and so counterintuitive to I like I a lot of the game. I think it's even on any stage with platforms as well, too. Uh huh. It is any stage. Oh, great, oh, there. No, you're good, you're good, he wants good. another one. Yeah. No, SOH, SOH knew he, like, he, he might be going for a second there, so I don't want to go for another jump. Mm. Back it. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He footstooled him and dared him immediately after. Another opportunity here, and it's kind of tough for Tropical because even though he isn't dying to it, it still brings in that fear factor of taking in damage. There's the blunderbuss. No setup here, but SOH immediately moves around. There's a the directional cape. I'm telling you, man, you waste that time for the setup there, and you played the price. Contrary to popular belief, I think SOH should have died for... Uh, that up B, that reverse up B, because he should have got forward smash. <laughs> he would have died at 80 for sure. But I think yeah. it was a misinput for coming in for Tropical, and he got the dash attack. And now da uh, Tropical's just trying to chase him down, trying to get his setups. But you you say, oh, great down tilt into the forward smash. But you, you've you been talking about how like all this setup coming in from K. Rule and his uh, aerial. Oh, man, he, he's not going to let him land ever, huh? But I was going to say, he needs those projectiles in order to play as neutral because this character's not fast at all. And yeah. he doesn't really have many tools to, like, space his opponent out. He doesn't have, like, what most of the other heavies have, which, like, Bowser has his tilts. Donkey Kong has his bear. Mm -hmm. K. Roll has a forward tilt, but it's he doesn't have the speed to make that forward tilt work as yeah. well as the other heavies. As well as, like, per se, DK's bear, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, DK's bear is such a good spacing tool. Eventually, like, like K. Roll doesn't have that those types of options. Bowser's for, like sliding forward tilt is insane in terms yeah. of like its reach. I don't see like what trop uh, what King K. Roll has in terms of a neutral in order to contest a campy character like Meta Knight. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, and the there's the cape yet again, dimensional man. cape. He kind of had he kind of had trouble a little bit like in under his. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> I was going to say, he, he kind of let, like, the way he had dimensional cape there and he kept using it, he kind of just had a tropical under his cape. No pun intended. Yeah, Anyways, yeah, yeah. joining you guys on the mic will be the toast with the most toasty. <laughs>